and then just give Michigan credit for recognizing it. Illinois by five. 220 left to go in the first half. Anderson. Gill. Lloyd Vaught clears the board for Michigan. Ramil Robinson had a foot on the three-point line. Griffin, good look, Vaught. Fine ball movement by the Wolverines. Vaught now has 10 points. Uh, you, you know, for, for people seeing Vaught play for the first time, you're saying to yourself, how can this guy not start? I mean, uh... From the outside, Anderson off the mark. Rebound taken by Robinson. He's tied up by Marcus Liberty. The foul on Liberty is his first. The reason he doesn't start... Bill Frieder said, I started him out in Utah, and he had his worst game ever. He's more comfortable, apparently, according to Coach Frieder, coming off the bench. Oh, yeah. Boy, and, and you don't, the uh, uh, coaching staff knows best. Um, uh, and, and again, you're right. Uh, there are just some players that are like that, and, and there's no reason to break that type of momentum. Eight points now for Ramil Robinson, three from the field, two of two at the foul line. Junior out of Cambridge, Mass. Rims in Latin High School. I believe that's the same high school that produced Patrick Ewing, if I'm not mistaken. Second upcoming for Robinson. Well, Michigan goes on a 9-1 run, gets back in it. Illinois answers back, widens the lead to seven. This free throw makes it another one-point game. Oh! Lloyd Vaught keeps it alive! It's a tie game. Under two minutes to go. Coming up on a minute 30 left in the half. Liberty. Nick Anderson. Kendall Gill lost it for a moment. The kind of quickness that's on the floor. You have to take care of the basketball. Well, and again, it seems like all the players have caught a second win right now. I'd say the last four or five minutes, the intensity, uh, as, as great as it's been the entire game, it's even picked up a notch right now. Ten to go on the shot clock. They'll have to create something with five to go. Kendall Gill, and it'll belong to Michigan. Uh, again, Michigan playing so much better now that they've gone man-to-man -man defense, gotten away from that matchup zone. Under a minute to go. Time left, lower right-hand corner of your screen. Michigan looking for the halftime lead. Ah, Rumiel picked up his dribble again. Griffin, good look to Vaught. He was bumped by Small, wasn't he? Yeah. You know, uh, that's fatigue factor. Uh, again, Ramil Robinson is, is now being mentioned uh, along with all the top point guards in the country. But again, the defensive pressure wears you out mentally, and you can lose your concentration a little bit. Uh, and I think that's why he's been guilty of picking the ball up uh, on four or five different occasions. Kurt Taylor comes in, and Ramil Robinson leaves the lineup. Lloyd Vaught at the free throw line. They're clarifying a signal given to the table. I will say one thing. The officials have been somewhat sloppy on their signaling to the table. There have been a couple of occasions where the scorer's table has had to wait and ask again who the foul is on. Irvin Small leaves the lineup. Kenny Battle back in. Lloyd Vaught at the free throw line has 12 points. Michigan and Illinois tied at 43. 37 seconds left to go in the first half. Another change for Michigan. Hughes reports on, replacing Sean Higgins. Well, uh, Fritter's doing a good job here. He's getting some. He's getting all his people out of the game that have two fouls on him, and uh, that's uh, that's the proper move to make. Robinson has two fouls. Taylor has two fouls. three at the foul line. Excellent free throw shooter, 78%. Well, this, you know, Vaught, uh, he's a senior, and I really feel like he's got a chance to maybe uh, have an NBA career, uh, e even as uh, a player who doesn't start in college. One point lead for Michigan. Illinois, no shot clock now, 30 seconds to go. A chance to grab the halftime lead. 
They've led by what, as many as seven, Steve, this first yeah. half? Mm -hmm. We've got exactly what we uh, thought we'd have and what we'd hoped exactly. we had. Exactly. As advertised, this one. Great, great ball game. Time winding down. This is Bardo. Kendall Gill over Taylor. Griffin to Taylor, lost it out of play. Still two seconds to go. You know, th this isn't disastrous, but this would be really a big momentum change if Illinois happens to get a, another basket here. Two seconds to go. Glenn Rice defending on the inbounds. Bardo to Gill for three. Yes! Oh, that is so big. Today's game is being brought to you by Pontiac. We build excitement. By the owners of Days Inns, Hotels and Suites in the Big Ten. Diagnostic checkup. Fact is, half of the cars serviced by Amco dealers don't need a new transmission. Now, how does that sound? Amco, double A, MCO. Amco Transmission Centers honor most new and used car extended service contracts. Take your car to Amco for your service contract work. See the Amco Transmission Center in your area. No matter what you do, maybe I'll be there for you. Rest assured, because Kodak Ultra Life Lithium batteries last twice as long as any other battery. You can depend on me. Kodak Ultra Life. Depend on us to last twice as long for less than twice the price. Your local Ford dealer wants to set the record straight. Others say they're better, but here are the facts. We've got the number one selling cars and trucks. Nobody else can say that. Nobody. Why? Simple. Quality people, quality products, straight talk, and real value like low 6.9% financing on Ford Taurus. Plus, right now, get $500 cash back and save up to $700 in options. That's right, get 6.9 financing and $500 cash back on Taurus. But don't wait, it all ends soon. The future is now at the University of Michigan. A worldwide leader in education and research, we've been a prime mover in attracting major national centers for manufacturing science, space robotics, and computer communications to Michigan. As a full partner with the state in creating the fastest growing high-tech corridor in the country, the university is developing people and ideas to generate new investments, new jobs, and economic growth. As citizens, educators, and students, we know that in Michigan, the future is now. At what university can you see world-class athletes in action? Enjoy live performances by internationally renowned musicians or productions in one of the finest performing arts centers in the world. Where can you sign on computers in classrooms, libraries, laboratories, even residence halls? Or draw knowledge from the nation's largest public university library? Time at a 
Assembly Hall in Champaign, Illinois. Michigan trailing Illinois, 48 to 44. You know, so often in college basketball, Steve Grody, it seems like these great game buildups uh, often come to the fore. It, it, this sport more than any other, the Final Four, always lives up to its billing in this game here today. Much talked about about Michigan and Illinois, one of the toughest tickets to get in Illinois to this game today, yeah. and it certainly has lived up well, to billing. Well, you know, the, the question about Michigan, of course, is they haven't played many tough opponents, and you wondered what their mental preparation level was going to be coming into a game where they have to be ready to play, or they get flown out. Uh, both teams are ready, and we've got what we hoped we'd have. Well, you mentioned it several times, and that is the quickness factor, the defensive pressure. It can wear on a team, and I think Michigan had was streaky in the first half, as we expected, but I think in the end, maybe some of that pressure wore them down a little bit. It did wear them down a little bit, but they answered that challenge pretty well. Uh, again, it, it could very well be that the team that has the last streak wins the ball game. I thought the single most important uh, point of the first half was Michigan finally went out of that, that uh, uh, matchup zone defense, went man to man, and that's what even the ball game back up. All right. Again at halftime, Michigan trailing Illinois by four. We're coming up uh, with head coach and athletic director John Makovic of the Fighting Illini football team, and we'll be back with that and more halftime activities after these words. The Clydesdales. The symbol of Budweiser quality. Of beechwood aging. The choicest natural ingredients. And a genuine commitment to freshness and taste. One beer lives up to all this. Budweiser. You're looking sharp. You're looking good. You've come so far. And we know how to make the most of who you are. All wants a half court contest. They're going to slow it down, try to let their big people take advantage inside. Slowing down Loyola will be a job in itself. You'll see what we mean. The eight and five Loyola Marymount Lions, the nine and seven DePaul. In all parts of this great country of ours, presenting Piedmont Airlines Going Places prices. Really low fares to over 170 cities. Call Piedmont or your travel agent now. Before going places, prices are going, going, gone. I ate a lot of stuff because it was chic. I mean, I ate raw fish because it was chic. But steaks and burgers, they make me happy. And I like being happy. I got a taste for some real food. Some guys look at this, they see just another brake job. Just another brake job? Not to the guy who drives this car. Not to me either. Mr. Goodrich knows it's not just a car, it's your freedom. The Big Ten Conference. For almost 100 years, the Big Ten has stood for academic progress, excellence, and athletic achievement. From its classrooms and research laboratories to the arenas of athletic competition, the Big Ten's reputation is unmatched. Student enrollments of more than 300,000, a living alumni base exceeding 2 million, and a concerned faculty dedicated to improving the quality of life for all people help make Big Ten universities and their graduates leaders around the world. Back at Assembly Hall at halftime, this is the Dave McLean Memorial Big Ten Coach of the Year trophy, and it is awarded this year to John Makovic. They had... Your head or whatever it's up. Puts the Wolf back up 39 to 25. Wake Forest, and I think fans in this part of the country would like you.